Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. And I got a question about other software jobs, no coding. <laughs> if you don't like coding, this, this question is for you. This video is for you. So this uh, question is from James and he says, this is a quick question. I'm finishing school this spring, two semesters equals a year, and I've had experience in the software development field through internships. About two years of internship experience, I don't think I want to write code anymore because it bores me. <laughs> Uh, I will have a Bachelor's of Science in Computer Information Systems and an Associate of Applied Business. What other jobs can you recommend? I still want to do something somewhat technical but don't want to be writing code at a computer all day anymore. I want to talk to people more and be able to get out of the office. I think I like writing code more as my own hobby and not as a job. Okay, so this is a perfectly valid question. Uh, let's see, what kind of job, I don't know of anyone in the software development field that does some kind of a job that doesn't involve writing code. Can't think of, can you guys think of anyone? Anyone who does that? <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, so I, I do that. Hey, wait, what's going on? <laughs> I actually like writing code though, but uh, you know, but I, it, it's just not the best use of my time because uh, I, you know, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta make videos, gotta talk to you all about, uh, about imp improving your life and, and achieving your dreams. So, so there's, there's a lot of different opportunities. I think, you know, obviously you can do something like what I'm doing is you can blog about software development or you can do, do something that helps software developers in, in some way, right? But if you want to do something more on the technical side, there's, there's a whole bunch of stuff in the software development field, right? So there's business analysts, okay? You can be the person who translates business requirements to developers. You could be the one that actually stands out and actually does understands the coding side really well and understands the business and, and does that, okay? Uh, you can also be a, an, help, a, an IT like help desk developer person. So there's a lot of roles where you're not necessarily writing code all day, but you are doing developer support. So for example, Microsoft has, has some of these roles where they're actually doing phone support for software developers. So they're getting into the nitty gritty details of, of the code and, and how, and they're supporting actual developers that are writing code or using the tools where they're not necessarily writing code all day, but they're getting to do kind of the fun stuff, at least for them it is probably, might for you be fun to to not have to write the code, but to help other people write code. There is technical, uh, technical writers who write uh, documentation and stuff like that. I don't know if that's something that you're interested in, but you could do that. There's DevOps, where you can take your coding experience and your skills with coding. You don't have to write code all day, but you can go and you can help build deployment systems that you can de deploy the software that developers are writing. It's sort of like being kind of between an infrastructure person and a developer. There's uh, roles where you could be a solution architect, where you're going out and you're working for for a, a company, where you're going out and you're going to clients, and you are coming up with the architecture of the the solution that's going to be developed. And you're not going to write the code yourself, but you're going to have developers that work on your team that you're going to communicate to them what needs to be built, and you're defining the architecture. Um, trying to think of some other ones that that you could do. You could go into testing, QA, quality assurance, where you're going to do. You could do something like testing where you do test automation. That might actually be fun, uh, where I found that to be a really fun thing to do, which is basically you're going to write automated tests. So it's not, it, it is a lot of coding, but it's it's something more than just coding, right? You could go into, into sort of the, the hybrid where you're doing, where you're doing some programming, but you're creating things that actually, right? There's, there's this whole, uh, maker type of, of movement that's been going on where you can actually build like circuit boards and you can build robotics and stuff like that. So there's a lot of different things that I think that you could probably do with that kind of computer science knowledge without having to necessarily code all day. So, uh, you know, you just got to look around and, and see what, what's out there, what kind of job opportunities are out there that, that you might be interested in that would be an intersection of that. But if you really, really don't like coding at all, 
you might want to just switch fields and get out of the software development industry completely. That's, you know, that's something to consider as well. Don't feel like just because you got a degree in computer science that you got to stick with that. If you don't like it, don't do it. Go do something else, go learn something else. I know plenty of people that have switched careers, you know, midstream. Heck, I'm doing, like, like I said, I'm doing something that has nothing to do really with programming anymore, even though I actually do like programming. But you know, there's no reason why you can't you can't switch out of that if you don't like it. But there are plenty of roles that are are definitely around software development that don't involve just sitting there and writing code all day. And I will tell you one other thing is that even if you become a, a full-time software developer, you're not going to be sitting around and writing code all day. You're going to spend a lot of time in meetings and doing architecture and designing systems. Writing code all day is not what uh, what you end up doing as a software developer. Just so you know, maybe as as an intern, maybe you just they had you hacking out code all day. But as a software developer in the real world, that is usually not the case. There's there's some some cases where where developers do get to do that. But most most of the time in my career as a software developer, I never got to just sit and write code. I would have loved to just sit and write code all day. All right, if you like this video, click that subscribe button below, and I will talk to you next time. Take care.